today's tutorial is about this glowy looking skin and warm neutral eye look. This is perfect for going out and it looks amazing on photos. To get this look, I first prime my face with Too Faced Hangover Replenish Primer. This primer smells like coconut and it really hydrates your skin. It's like an energy drink but for your skin. So I'm just massaging it on my skin and pressing it to let my skin really absorb it. Next, I'm using the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer, concentrating it and pressing it on my cheeks where I have big pores. For my brows, I'm using my favorite drugstore eyebrow product which is the NYX Eyebrow Pencil in Taupe and then I'm setting it with Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder and also in Taupe. To clean up around my brows, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and make sure it is close to your skin tone so it doesn't look funny. This is in the color medium and this is what I also use to prime my eyes. This step has changed my eye makeup blending game so don't skip this step. I am setting my eye primer with Brodeal's Banana Powder. Onto the eyes, my favorite palette as of the moment is the Tarte Pro Artist Palette. I'm using the peachy shade called Innocent and I'm placing it on my crease and slightly above it and I'm also flicking this outward. For the outer corner of my eye, I'm using this orangey brown tone called Whimsy and I'm using a 217 brush from MAC, gradually building the color, doing a circular motion while placing it on the corner of my eyes for a seamless blended look. To intensify this look on the same corner of my eye but slightly closer to my lash line, I'm placing this dark warm brown color called Smoke and I'm using a smaller brush for this for a more concentrated color. For my lid, I'm just using my fingers and tapping the shade Ethereal on top of it. I find that with the shimmer shades on this palette, the color shows more if I use my finger. I tight lined and lined my lash line with Marc Jacobs Black Eyeliner and I also blend it with a small brush. For foundation, I'm using this Makeup Forever HD Stick in number 425. And for an easy blend, I'm spraying my face with MAC Prep and Prime in Lavender. As a base for my highlighter, I'm putting a cream highlighter first and this is by Absolute New York in Spotlight. And with the same concealer as before, I'm just putting this under my eyes. And then I'm just blending and pressing it on my face using the Co Beauty Sponge. It's amazing and it's very affordable. Then I set this with the Rodeal Banana Powder. This banana powder is so fine and it's the perfect brightener for my skin tone. And then to contour, I'm using this LA Girl Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze. I'm putting this along my forehead, side of my cheeks, and side of my nose. I'm blending my contour color with my MAC Dual Fiber Brush which I sprayed with MAC's Prep and Prime Spray. To avoid a cake face and for the face makeup to look more blended and more natural, I then spray my face with MAC Prep and Prime Spray and then I'm really stamping my face with the use of the Co Beauty Sponge. Not on the video, but I set the rest of my face with Chanel powder. And then for lashes, I used Dodo Lashes in style D306. And then I dipped my pencil brush with Innocent and Whimsy and I applied it on my lower lash line. For blush, I used Max Warm Soul. If there's one blush that you should buy from MAC, it's this one because it's very universal. For highlighter, I'm using my Ride or Die highlighter as of the moment and this is the Rodeal Instagram Compact Deluxe Highlighting Powder in number 02. And I use a fan brush to apply this on my cheekbones and on the bridge of my nose. I have textured cheeks, that's why I'm very critical with my highlighters. And this one just glides on super smoothly. And then for my lips, I use MAC Lip Liner in Whirl and then I top it with ColourPop's Metallic Liquid Lipstick in Man Eater. 
And to look really dewy, I set my face with NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. So now my easy, warm, neutral eyes with glowy skin look is complete. Can now go out and party with our friends and take a lot of selfies and take a lot of photos with our friends. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please give this a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Thank you.